In this picmonic, we'll discuss the drugs milrinone and amrinone, the latter now renamed inamrinone in the U.S., which help treat acute heart failure. Recall these drugs by the story of the M. rhinestone and A. rhinestone magically coming to life in a museum. These drugs work through inhibition of phosphodiesterase type 3, the phosphorus P duster 3 tree in inhibiting chains. This enzyme is responsible for the degradation of CAMP, especially in cardiac and smooth muscle cells. Enzyme inhibition leads to elevated CAMP levels, which have multiple effects. In the heart, these medications potentiate the effects of beta-adrenergic receptor stimulation by endogenous catecholamines, the P-strings beta receptor. Elevated C-AMP levels also lead to increased heart contractility, known as inotropy, the I-heart flexing. Systemically, these medications relax vascular smooth muscle, resulting in vasodilation, the vase died, which decreases systemic vascular resistance and afterload. As such, these meds are indicated in acute decompensated heart failure represented here by the acute angle decomposing heart dying. Look at that poor guy. Side effects can include ventricular arrhythmias, the vent heart with broken arrhythmia drum, due to their cardiostimulatory effects. This can occur at any dose, so patients receiving a milrinone or amrinone infusion should be closely monitored. At higher doses, these drugs may cause hypotension, the hippo BP from exaggerated systemic vasodilation. So in summary, milrinone and amrinone, now renamed inamrinone, are phosphodiesterase 3 inhibitors that potentiate the effects of beta receptor stimulation. These drugs will increase inotropy and systemic vasodilation. Since they improve cardiac function overall, they are indicated in acute decompensated heart failure. Side effects of treatment include ventricular arrhythmias and hypotension. The coveted M. rhinestone and A. rhinestone are the latest artifacts to be added to my museum. However, mysteries began to unfold when I, the phosphorus P cleaning lady, began to dust off the prized jewels. Suddenly, they levitate off the museum floor. Thinking fast, I use inhibiting chains to attach the rhinestones to a three-tree bonsai to keep them from floating out of the museum. Then other items in the museum come to life. A pea spring recoils back with a betta fish nestled in a receptor, which is held by the beefy muscles of the eye heart. As he flexes, he also grabs an antique dyed vase. But why? What's the purpose of this? For the rest of the story, check out Picmonic.com and sign up for a free account. There, you can also take Picmonic's quiz. The quiz automatically sets up your daily quiz by using spaced repetition algorithms based on the questions you've missed or struggled with to make sure you study what you need when you need to. And while you're there, check out the rest of our Inotropes Picmonics. We've got all the content you'll need to remember. Everything from digoxin mechanism and indication, acute digoxin toxicity, digoxin toxicity treatment, beta-1 agonists, and so much more. So you can lock down on everything you need to know forever. Play, quiz, and spaced repetition. Efficient, effective, and research proven to increase exam scores.